Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're told that the manager of a weekend flea market knows from past experience that if he charges X dollars for a rental space at the market, then the number Y of spaces he can rent is given by the equation Y is equal to 200 minus 4X. First, we're asked to sketch a graph of this linear function. Remember that the rental charge per space and the number of spaces rented can't be negative qualities, quantities. So to do this, let's just get two points. So if Y equals zero, then zero is equal to 200 minus four X. Four X is equal to 200 and X is equal to 50. X is equal to 50 when Y is equal to zero. Therefore we have the point 50, zero. And when X is equal to zero, Y is equal to 200 minus four times zero. Four times zero is zero, so this is just Y is equal to 200. And therefore the point zero, 200 is on the graph as well. And these are going to be the two endpoints of this line segment. If it's not a line, it's a line segment because we can't be going into the negative values. So if we draw this right here, and we can do this every 50. Fifty, fifty. Fifty zero is on right here, and then zero two hundred is one, two, three, four up, and therefore the graph looks like this. This is A. In B, we're asked what do the slope, the y-intercept, and the x-intercept represent. So the slope is the rate of change of the dependent variable, y, over x. y is the number of spaces you can rent, x is the dollars charged. So this is the rate of change of spaces you can rent. You can rent per dollar charged. As he increases, the number goes down, right? And the rate of change is given by the slope of this graph. The y-intercept is y when x equals zero. What does this mean? Well, that's the number of spaces when he charges zero dollars. Right, just connecting this to the actual problem and what the variables represent. Number of spaces, he charges zero dollars. x-intercept is the opposite. It's x when y is zero. It is the cost, the charge, x, when the number of spaces he can rent is zero. So it is the charge that results in zero spaces, right? Because it's the charge that actually results in the number of spaces, we have to write it like this, versus the number of spaces that happen when you charge zero. Slightly different wording, but these are the actual applications of these concepts of this graph for this particular problem, rental spaces at a free market.